of a 23-year-old young man in the Muru Bibilioni area. The second deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Brigadi Gashagwa, whose security was totally withdrawn two days ago, was present. Together with him was myself, the Senator of the Great County of Kiambu, Senator Seki, the Senator of Kajiado, Honorable Member uh, MP for Kajiado North, Onesmas Bogoyo, is here. John Kagusha, the Honorable Member of Parliament for Mokoroini, the local MCA, Jabez Mku, and a host of other leaders, former MP of Lemuru, Honorable Mwadi, and the current MP for Lemuru, Honorable Kirago, who deserted the VIP tent before the attack. The over 300 goons who started arriving in the barrio, meet with the program, attacked the VIP tent, H.E. Rigadi Gashagwa was seated, where the deputy president was seated. They demolished the tent and threw seats at Rigadi Gashagwa, the deputy president, and his entourage. On exit, more goons attacked Gashagwa attacked Gashagwa's convoy seriously, damaging his cars and injuring a number of people. The goons were armed with stones, hangars, and axes. Apparently, the goons were transported to the venue with clear instructions to harm and possibly assassinate His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa. There is a clear scheme to further intimidate and harm Rigadi Gashagwa, his aides, and MPs who accompany him for public events who are his allies. Further to that, we are quick to note that even our own security is not guaranteed because every MP who was there, every senator who was there, their cars were attacked. These events point to a more coordinated scheme to precipitate bloodshed and anarchy targeted to Mount Kenya region and across the country. The drill is to ensure that Mr. Uh, the drill is to ensure that Mount Kenya leaders are facilitated to precipitate a conflict amongst themselves, fight against themselves, harm each other, and violently silence themselves. Honorable Babushia shall come continue from that. Further to these events, we are worried about the whereabouts of former MP uh, for Lemuru, Honorable Peter Mwadi, who has been abducted by the infamous Subaru Kaz as he fled from the same funeral. And it's good to note that even the MCA is also suspected to have been abducted as well. And now we are begging the following questions. Why was there no presence of police officers in the event where His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa was attending, and yet he is a uh, a VIP in this country who uh, should be protected. Why was H.E. Rigade Gashagwa security with the drone two days ago? Why did our colleague, the MP for Lemuru, on Kirago, sit away from the VIP tent, which would later be attacked? Why was why has Hon Peter Mwadi been abducted at this uh, particular time? And now here we are, of course, demanding for his uh, release. I want to have uh, my brother here, Honorable uh, Onesmas Gogoyo, uh, read the last part. Uh, now, we demand the following. Honorable Mwadi, the former MP for Limuru, be released from the immediate effect. His Excellency Rigadi Gashago, the second deputy president and family, be given full security round the clock and his security be guaranteed as it is in the constitution and by, and by the state and this is not a favor but a constitutional guarantee and the state is obligated to do so three a full investigation be conducted by the state over the uh, uh, over the over, over, over the security apparatus and sponsors of the Charles and the Mayhem.
and we have reported the same matter to the Limuru uh, police station. I personally have reported even to the OCPD and I have an OB number to that effect. And therefore we ask that let them do full investigation. For all events attended by Hechiri Gadi Gashagwa be secured without failure. Five, all citizens, including elected leaders, attending events where His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa is attending be guaranteed of their security. And lastly, the state of lawlessness, which is ostensibly uh, uh, is, an, is, an, is in an ostensibly state, sponsored, be stopped to ensure that the nation does not generate to anarchy. This statement is signed by the following members. Honorable Karungo Wadangwa, the Senator for Kiambu, Gogo Yonesmas, MP Kajado North, Honorable John Kagushia, the MP for Mukuroine, Honorable Gadoni Wamushomba, the MP for Gidongori, Senator Medu, the Senator for Nyandarwa, Senator Nyutu from Muranga, Honorable Koimbori, the MP for Juja, Honorable Jude Jomo, the former MP for Kiambu, Honorable Gakuya, the Member of Parliament for Empakasi North, Honorable Dennis Waiganjo, Damari Swaiganjo, um, the Honorable James Jenga, Honorable Ketu Arugoro, and other members that are with us here, and I will give them an opportunity to begin with the Honorable Amoshova. Asante Misana, we are obviously here at the DCI headquarters outside the gate. We have tried to access the DCI headquarters to uh, have a formal engagement with the concerned authorities, and they have obviously denied us entry. Uh, something that is very, very shocking that elected members of parliament and senators who have the mandate of the people of Kenya through the power of the vote can be denied to access DCI headquarters at this time to follow up on matters that pertain to people's lives. A missing member of parliament, former member of parliament, a father and a husband and a father of children, it's something that is worrying at this hour. We would want to understand what is going on. Abductions are really back in this country where people cannot go freely to a funeral and go back home. And this is something we wanted to have a conversation with the chief charge uh, security officers at the DCI. They have started telling us to go to Nyeri, which is our regional headquarter. And I don't think that is procedural for any member of parliament to be denied to access services at any part of this country. Because even if I'm elected in Gedongori, my Gedongori people are also people who live in Nairobi. So I have a reason to come here to the DCI headquarters to represent people from Gidongori who are in Nairobi. So this is absurd and we can already see what is happening. Abductions are creeping back daily. Our children are being abducted daily. Our leaders now are being abducted. And this is something that we need to flag as Kenyans because it is very, very worrying. The wife to the honorable uh, member for, a uh, former member for Limuru uh, is with us here. She is really traumatized. Even, please come here, Mama. Just come around here. Even the children and the grandchildren are here. And uh, family, please come. Family are uh, And the lawyer, the lawyer to Mweshimu Mwadi, they are here. And they are here to ask the government some questions. What wrong did the Honorable Mwadi do to qualify that kind of mistreatment and indignified manner of arrest? We are told that Honorable Mwadi's car was badly damaged and therefore he moved out of his car because it was very windy to a small car which after 200 meters from where he alighted from his car that was damaged to a small car Subaru's uh, um, blocked his car and he was abducted and right now the wife is here she doesn't know where her husband is the lawyer is here, the children are here and that is why we came in solidarity uh, to speak on behalf of Honorable Mwadi and even that I'm seeing who Ajulikana pahali yuko mkuu, nasikia simu yake haipatikani, ata yeye familia haijui ako wapi, waibo tuko hapa kuuliza haki on behalf of that father, that husband, and that leader who is missing currently. Asante ni sana. Maybe uh, Mrs. Mwadi can say something. Thank you. But personally, mine is the disturbance because when he left the house, he was going for a funeral. And as a leader in the rural that he has been, he has a right to speak and he has always been given a chance to speak like other leaders. But why abducting? What wrong did he commit? And he was not the only one, he was with so many other leaders. So why incentive on him? Why abducting? 
down to where is he? How, is he? how safe is he? Who can answer all these questions? This is definitely wrong and sad because if this is what they can do to the leaders to silence them, to intimidate them, then where are we as common people? Where are we? very active in the room and I do believe you continue serving the people of the you in many different ways. He will still attend to you, but you cannot make it so impossible to do public functions. It is not right. So personally I am not going to do Just before just before the lawyer speaks, we are live to the, the, the information that is coming to us that the young men who are used to Cause mayhem in Limuru, who came in uh, in masks, carrying pockets of stones and many other crude weapons that they carried. We are getting information, reliable information, that those boys are now headed to Embu. And because Embu, there is a function that is planned there tomorrow, and there is one of our colleagues who is coordinating that event, the Honorable Mukonji. We are reliably being informed that the guns are being transported in buses tonight to go and cause mayhem, mayhem in Embu. We want to announce without fear of contradiction, this is our country and we are not going to allow Kenyans to be sleeping in pain and agony. We are not going to allow that we cannot have any farmers meeting anymore because goods are going to be sent by people who feel that they have only one tool left and that is violence. So whatever is being planned in Embu, we are well aware and we are calling upon the security apparatus to make sure the meeting that is supposed to be happening tomorrow for tea farmers in Embu happen under security and the farmers must be protected to air their views and concerns and give their concerns on the bill that is coming, the tea bill that is coming. There are people who are planning mayhem so that they can pass bills against the people's wish. But maybe before we come, uh, yeah. if I were to say just on the uh, whoever imagines that uh, by instilling fear or by bringing guns and attacking our vehicles, you can see the kind of uh, um, harm that has been done on the members of parliament who are accompanying the deputy president to the Shabu. They imagine that they will feel our soul. We shall still continue speaking for our people. We shall be there. We shall not keep quiet. Not not even abductions, not even attacks on our own selves or even our own families, or the threats that have been done to us as leaders, or the threats that have been done on the person of the presidency regarding the who will stop us because our resolve is very deep rooted. The only thing is uh, the government of the day feels that they really want to stop us. The only tool that is available for them to stop us is a bullet. Uh, let me say something short, uh, that uh, we are very shocked that uh, this is happening to our country. Uh, the deputy president, uh, who seems to be their media target, was impeached uh, hardly a month ago, and uh, he's already down. I don't know why they feel so scared by him, uh, but of course we know that uh, their scheme did not work. We thought that once he was down with the impeachment that uh, he was not going to have any influence. And we know that they are scared, they are shivering, that the deputy president, uh, our second deputy president, continues enjoying massive support with the people of Mount Kenya. We want to tell them that we will not be cowed, we will not be intimidated, and we are ready, and we know that uh, our people in Mount Kenya are being targeted, and that we know for sure. But uh, we will not uh, uh, be shaken, we will continue with our resolution. But we want to also talk to our people that when there is an event, let the locals see who is there. And when they see somebody that they suspect, let them put them to account. 
let them tell the people there whom they are, what they have come to do, because the people, the goons that were in the Muru are not locals. These were important, and we are telling our people to also be very vigilant. Very vigilant, anybody they do not uh, know should actually not be allowed there. And if they want to call that incitement, so be it. But we will not fear, and it is our right, the powers that this government is using to intimidate our people. We are the same people that they give this government the power through our vote. Thank you very much. There is no way he is going to decide on the power. We have resolved that Luto must go. If he is now coming to values, it's an aspect of the spiritual. Lapi, I am Mambo, we are on a 2007. It started exactly this year. Eventually, we ended up to the country that was in the Since what was Lima, the Kapa Moja, and we will not allow that to happen. Not from our people. We have a resolve that it does not matter what kind of uh, intimidation that it brings upon us, it will not stop us from achieving that which we want. Having Mrs. Mwadi here in the night because his husband has been impacted. Nasari Kali is an embarrassment. It's a thing that we never thought we'd ever see again, not under any constitution. And the worst of it all, the mob wali mutukua kwa Na wali sika mwenye tulikuwa tumeta kusika hawa wali paya. Wali bebe. It's a very, uh, I want to join my colleagues and uh, the leaders who are here, members of parliament, members of the Senate, in calling for the release of uh, Mwaki. We will be in court with the lawyers, we will join them to ensure that uh, it is released. And also uh, talk to people across the country and especially from the mountain. This is part of the scheme. And it is upon us leaders to ensure that the Muto does not succeed. We should have only one to say, Muto in um, I would like to say that as you can see, all who are Shimiwa are here, in regardless of where, whichever party, the more you continue to poke our eyes, the more we unite. Abducting a former member of parliament, organizing for goons, is cowardice. Nasasa watu ya Mount Kenya muangalie. Kama mtu si wa area yenu anakuja matanga nyinyi ndio askari. Musi musiakwe uoga na musikubali kununua uoga. Huyu jamaa lazima aende nyumbani na hata tuuzie uoga. We want Mwathi. His wife and his children they want their father and she wants her husband. That is it. And hatutauziwa uoga simple. I want to say this that Kenya is a constitutional democracy. The right to assemble is a constitutional right. The constitution was not given to us by President Ruto. The constitution was given us by God as individuals. This was not even a political rally. It was a funeral. I want to tell you Kenyans that if they can dare arrest an honorable member of parliament, a former honorable member of parliament, are you surprised today that we have so many sons of our motherlands that have disappeared without trace? We have heard people saying that they don't have any records of anyone that has been abducted. While we know, we know it very clearly that during the Gen Z demonstrations, so many people disappeared and so many have not been seen. We are going to fight this in, this, uh, this in the courts. We know the judiciary is going to, um, is, 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 is actually going to to rule according to the law, we have a right of habeas corpus to demand, and even from this office, and not even DCI can stop us from demanding that Honorable Muadi be released and appealed to his family. 
And so I want to I want to tell all the Kenyans that this is this is not just a cause for Honorable Muadi. This is not even just a cause for Mount Kenya, but this is a cause for the dignity of humanity. So that no one will come and arbitrarily take away your rights that are guaranteed by the constitution. And so we want to tell everyone that matters, from the highest office in the land to the lowest office in the land, that this constitution we fought for it for very many years. And so we are going to be fighting, we are going to be heading to court, and we are going to make sure that the rights of the Honorable Mwadi are respected, not just respected, but those who are enjoined to ensure that those rights are observed. They do their job and they must do it, otherwise they leave and we get the right people in these offices. Uh, I think uh, I want to remind uh, our president, Mr. Ruto, to remember very well how we campaigned for you, uh, how we, we stood with you when you were being replaced by uh, the former regime. And all we knew by then is that we uh, were going to be the best president. Actions, there will be no extra judicial delays. And uh, so far, you can see all what you said were lies. The treatment you have given to Mr. Machako, uh, who campaigned for you day in, day out, I remember very well, uh, he contributed a lot of his money to that your campaign. And uh, if you can go to the extent of this so that Yashagua can be embarrassed. Honestly speaking, Kwali Mungu wa yuko, wewe ujuu Mungu wako, lazima ujuu Mungu wako, na hii yote maneno unafanya, utalipa, na hapa duniani, inalipiwa hapa duniani, na tena ni kuambie, watu wa Mount Kenya, na watu ya gema in general, ukiwatesa, ndio wanakuja wote pamoja na hii resolve unaona saa hii sasa wewe ndio umeshikanisha mlima wacha vile mlikuwa anasema kachagu anashikanisha mlima wewe ruto ndio umeshikanisha mlima vile tumeshikana hatutawachana na tutakutoa asubuhi vile tulikuwa tunasema tukaumira tena saa hii tutatoka mapema ndio wewe uende nyumbani sisi tunakuuliza wapi atoke familia aende kwa familia yake MCA wangu huko ni mungu pia mbwana mkuu haende nyumbani na tafadhali wala wanakuwa device au wanakaa karibu na wewe ujui hao diyo mekupoteza sisi na kina kachagwa duro tulikuwa marafiki zako za ukwe sisi diyo tuliku guide baka wewe ukachaguliwa sasa wale wabaye wariku guide uliwawacha saa hii wewe umepotea wana vile umepotea na watu wana kusame for the, just for the benefit of the media that has just joined us, because we have done a uh, We came here to the DCR as members of parliament, as senators, most of them who had accompanied the second deputy president regarding Ashagwa, to your funeral service in Bibirioni, Lemuru constituency. We came here for two things. One, we are asking the whereabouts of one former MP of the Muru, Honorable Peter Mwad, who was, who was abducted today when the body was still going on. Today, we witnessed something that nobody has ever imagined, that the second deputy president, where he was seated at the VIP tent, about 200 to 300 goons, who never came from uh, Limuru, they were ferried, they came by buses, and we even have videos of them getting money from some uh, those who are organizing it. And that's why we had come here, because we have to look for justice, for one, regarding Ashagwa, our second deputy president, two, the former MP, Peter Mwadi of Lemur, and the MCA for Bibirioni, Honorable Mku. But when we got here, for the first time, the DCI director wants to interview us at the gate. He has, he's asking, what do you want? But we wanted to access the office 
so that we can give our information, our statement, and he takes notes. When we insisted on getting into his office, he walked away. This is a country that we are living in. That he walked away when the honorable members are here, the people uh, from Kiambu and from all over, because we are here, leaders of today, leaders of yesterday, and also leaders of tomorrow. We were here. So my point is, we want to ask the DCI, please, you know you are the Subaru men. Mr. Mwadi was taken by a Subaru. Please return Peter Mwadi to his house. The wife is here. The children are here. And of course, they want their father and their husband back. Lastly, we want to insist as the Senator of Kiambu and the MPs who are here and the Senators who are here, we will not be cowed. We will not stop. We will go. But I ask the people of Mount Kenya and the people across the country, refuse to be misused to harm a brother. Because today, I saw it with my own eyes. They were trying to assassinate one regarding a chapter. They took the metal bus from the tent. They hit his car several times. And they were aiming at the left side of the vehicle. The back left, the seat. But thankfully, he was seated on the right. So today, what we are speaking today, we could be speaking about something different. Today was an assassination attempt for Rigadi Kashagwa. And as the president, and the security, police, it's not a prayer, it's not a request, it's not a privilege. We want you to give back the security to Rigadi Kashagwa that you took two days and then you organized goons to attack him today and you try to kill him today. What a coincidence that you remove the security then you send goons with metal bars and axes to try to kill Rigadi Gashagwa. We will pray for him, but we will demand for justice. Thank you very much. Hmm. But uh, just to address the point that has been made by Senator Karobo, the security of the deputy president Rigadi Gashagwa is a constitutional right. He has a right. Well, should we kind of address the cameras? Um, he has a right as a person and as a, as, as, as a leader <coughs> who has served this republic to the level of the deputy <laughs> president of the Republic of Kenya. Even if he was not in office, he has a right as a, as a Kenyan. Number two, we actually wonder how would have, um, a funeral of the magnitude of a funeral that has six, seven members of parliament, the deputy president, Gazi Gashagwa. Not even one single police, uh, policeman was there to, uh, to offer security, and the security team was aware, well aware that the deputy president is, uh, is, is attending. Finally, one of Mwadi has served the Muru constituency. It is not the first time that he is attending uh, funerals in the Muru. Uh, in the, in the Muru. How, is it, how would the uh, state feel that his wife, uh, nine in the, in the night, is here looking for him? We do not even know where he is. We were, we were here to ask because it is government uh, big. Where is he? What is the uh, what is the state? Um, where is this? Where is this? It's becoming, Moshimo, it's becoming highly dangerous to attend events in Mount Kenya. Where are we headed? Sorry? It is becoming dangerous uh, from the look of things to attend events in Mount Kenya. I will not say that we it has become dangerous to attend events in Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. Had the goons not interfered with that ceremony, the ceremony was going on so long. The ceremony was actually very peaceful. The people who disrupted are the six force at goods. It was not that uh, there was anybody who was fighting in the, in, the, in the ceremony, there was anybody who was fighting in the funeral. It is the six force at goods that, uh, 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 that, that made it dangerous to be in, uh, in such a setting. Uh, and maybe to add on what Moshimeo has said, um, it has been said that eternal vigilance is the price of liberty. This is a call to the citizenry of this country. Today it is Mueshinua uh, Muazi. Tomorrow they will come for you in your bedroom. Hear me, citizen. None of us is safe if any one of us is unsafe. And therefore, this is a call. You can call it incitement or, or whatever it is. This is a call for all of us to rise and defend 
our constitution. Not for the sake of, of, of Honorable Mwadi, but for the sake of your own very self. You woke up, you voted for this, please fight for it. I'm saying this as a lawyer, we lead from the front, but we want the goodwill of each and every citizen of this country. We are especially grateful for our honorable members because these are the ones that make our laws. But they make our laws, but the only people that can make these laws realize its effect. It is we, the citizen, because the constitution begins with the preamble, we the people of Kenya. So we the people of Kenya must arise, we must defend our constitution, we must fight for it because the power of the gun cannot be greater than the power uh, of the people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. much. It's just, very, just very unfortunate that we wanted to have a dialogue with the church security here at the DCI. We are going to have a dialogue with the church security here it is very unfortunate. And indeed, all of them have run away. Yeah, they have run away while going to get to it. It is very unfortunate if leaders like ourselves fighting for the rights of other leaders, we can be denied access to the DCI. What about Wananchi Wakawaida? Mwashimia, briefly for Inoro TV. For Inoro TV? Yes. Kikuyu, yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, you do one bit when I do one bit. <laughs> Ah, mudanya wa umude tu hanga huwa ini iru neda ida tu na irorete. So kita ni udo wa kuchaji ya kihotoki ya mweshimi wa pita muadi. Oria wa dure to maita mere kuri ari muru. Oria ora tuika ni ani tiru wa mateka akiuma madiko kuri ari muru. Madiko maria masoki ra butuika ni kuagi ya haro. Gari siari katewa kashagua na bode gari siari katewa kashagua ni matenga kiliyo. Gari ya karobo adangu wa neha ha. Garia kagusia FP wa mukoro ine dia baku magara imaha ha. Garia mweshimu wa kogo ya wakuri ya kaji ya dosaud. Imaha ha garia kene huragi mona mweshimu na kete na bawa kene yari kiro uru. Na niku mana joka nerera na na yu makuri ya muru. Na reuto kete go kone to bini to kwa naga kumenya kana ogwo ne guo gati baga Kenya ko yete na kana ogwo ne guo furu yu to kwa kwa diya na bere. Reuto wa kenyi tana yu ata seti. Aria mani tageri na moja nasi wa deputy presidenti wito ni gadewa agashagua todo tu kijana na kuli wako duara horo na todo diko igere hizo toki tani ara tunye tu afurizi si akasi yote umoja ni unetu amenye neke kila tu maga tu nyo afurizi ara tu nyo afurizi ni gada adare kero idare kari ya bere yuma kuri ya muru na nethemeri ya kui kari tani ya yapi ya kudare kero suma si aruto ato maji ya kuhoro na suma isi na bote gadi igere si ni gadewa agashagua ni mahora giro mo kumbu no ona mweme dibitani. Ogo to koke tago koto ita tati to doto tike koma ari age make horo age make nyito kia hinya maga toro kuria to toe e mwa shimi wa mwadi to tira menya kuria le mutumia wa ke ha ha ni yo yo ha ha na siana sia ke si ha ha to koke ta kuria dirikari era kera ria pita mwadi era ke pita mwadi na MC ori onji tiro me wa bibili oni mare kera ria na mahodere ruo katiba ga Kenya koro he mahitia mekete matoro igotine na matiridio otoria katiba ko igete no uhoro wa kunyita ko ke kwa tata mekora koro rio yore wo tita ka na wa Somalia kuri aguta rule of law na go ko ne rule of law na ne to igwa to ni mundo ke koro kinya munenda wa ndi ya ha ha okira go toroga mi ha afara tura ke sio jata siana ate nye ne nyue ana mwati eko apa wo jure ne to ria kuna ke pande ke kuna ke ko ne ga nya bego dikiri ya ha ha to ke igwa ga yo na toria to ngoria Aje kuro na mana mana mani tu wego kuto ya tau kodi ali. Ewa aje kuro tani muga abo. Ewa aje kuro tau kodi ali rejia. Neki ya hamu no aje kuro tiri kari na aje ni kwanza. Rewe rato sokia kuri ya tuwa imiya miya keyo. He tiri ya tuwa ruagira akiti tu tiri ya tuwa kaka mwe. Asante nita. Igo kimo tu ya nyuroa okorora tu rehete. Tu ukite ha ha na kura ridi ya jawa okia bisi ya. Kuto tiko dato kapa ridi ya jawa okia bisi ya. Ah, hena mukumia, na mukumia mweshimu wa pita mwadi. Na hena chana siya, hena siya. Maroli ya papa ituwa ritu. Maroli ya mungu wa kwa ritu. Na hado hasi iti kiliyo dhingi tu ikire nekeza tuwalie na area to kute makiri haa. Kodwa keo yone ya area makiri wa magiri haa kia uite. Magitore mweshimu wa shiori. Ni mahiti ya kikita nukuki mati koi. Magitore mweshimu wa shiori. Ni mahiti ya kikita nukuki wa kumi tarana mwana ure ukiri wa alikate wa kasha. Kwa na ijuwa ve, mweshimu wa ajiwa wa ito mari haa area mwana mati ko. Gari siyao na oenyewe neo mwana very targeted. Ogrona mo huri dora kari shadepi to president rika zwa kashagua ihuri tu. 
onorore mwena uria ihuritwe muno makiria ni mwena uria weikaraga uguo hena gitumi gia guitikia ati dima igeria inene muno ria kuraga mwisho wa ngatho wa kiro igeria ria dima ho the dima ria kumumakia the dima ria kumuguyo hia to kono kumuguyo hia ria urire kuma hema ini aigira ngari ni mangimurekere ithia thie no igeria ria dima ho dima ria kumuraga chuma ria ihurite ngari cia ketoro ndona ni muko na rabe cia cikirite ongirora mwena uria ihurite ihurite haria ando acho meguiciragia atikoro ikarite kire ingienda kuga ni giki Aikoro area mereka ogu mereka ogu magi sedia se adore mau mete di joni no itu ya mau Kenya atin di mereka mana nak nak kiri mereka itu di mereka tiga na tu tiga tiga na tu ikan tu hamu mula makelia wah kiri aikoro itu atau kiri ada tu korang tu yang mua hawa mua cuma dikata wakasa gua ni di mana kerja kau gua dia tu ni kerja muda tiga tu dia kan nak kan ni kerja muda tiga kau gua taka kan ni kerja muda tiga kau gua taka orang begi rori rori tu tu kau dia mula mula makelia tu dugu ti tu dugu oke tu mana Jadi tuan kau dari dia dari itu, tuan kau keluar dari dia, tuan kau dari itu, atau tuan kau dari dia mau dari mana tuan pergi? Wah muncul niat. Aduh dia ada muru orang ramai jadi dorang. Bukan mula nama kuiri hati. Aduh sih mereka kurang nak mana hidup barat. Dia dua muru orang dia dua kiamu. Dia dua mereka kurang hati orang mana hidup hidup ini ni muno. Orang masih kau masih dia kanan beri. Aduh masih kau dia badi, masih dia mahu orang. Juga ada dia kami rokok itu. Mak orang masih kita nama jokah badi dalam orang. Na kuiri informasi ni itu tuan kita tahu kuiri. Ni ada orang cuma mau kau makhluk orang ini kita kita orang ini kita orang muda Kenya. Kau tu kita kuliah dua itu. Kau nak dulu tarah mana mau kita mesti kau kaji. Mau kau mula ini mau kita mula. Kau nak ikut dia dua malam nak kau mesti kita tolong mau kita na 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 idol dulu baru siapa orang adu. Mau kau mula ini mau kita mula kita. Finally, lo tu dah kau kuliah dari kau. Mau kita kerja mau kuliah dari kau. Mau kita buat apa? Mau kita kerja kita orang dia. Dari mana dia kita tolong aku nanti mudah tu kau nanti ribu rumah tu kau mai. Dari mana dia kita nanti aku punya tanya nak dua ke? Ah, thank you, Muno. Muda ni awam, muda ni muda ni wak ya. Nono tu dia tu diri kari, ni itu yang kita determine kau dah kuni na rida dewa. Muda ni kau tu ni dia kau, na mana mutarat tarosio, kalau mana bila mana hari kita kiri saya tu dia kau ijeri, dia tu ni tu. Umu tu hari aku kira kau ikara, ni aku guna sisi aku kira kau dia orang kerja. Na ni udah mufah, kenapa ni kita tu kita upah di CIA? Tontol ada kini yang mukul kewali muru, adu durio. Tontol ada kini ya, dah naik kara hari ya atau goria mekuiri tu main kare. Uune kugan nite kumenyaga karena nioi mufah kori aku pakai. Mufah aku umah aku dari kira kira dewa kasihua. Na ni tu orang ini ni remu dengan orang mudi, nama itu mah kuah maya. Ati mekuiri aga shuma siapa hema anak kasihyo. Maka dari sa gari makianan mayu kini dah dikata dewa agama. Hei mula agri wa keu muai, nanti mula agri ni muai nak ke uriodire komuni terira. Negeri ada kago do, ni aku diru nasi rumah muncul, nanti kita. Sume aku ni koran ni de, na awak second deputy president dikata dewa agama. Ugu teraria, kita tu gerai. Kita tu teraria diri kari. Nanti tak faham lagi. Dikata dewa agama aku ni asal keriu sekiru teak ke. Ego kita yang madiko, makam muana, kami akan merogoh ini neta tu. Kalau hari itu kita korang kau kutina kian ni danua, lu ni ge, oh itu tu ego kita kau dia buka dika madanu amaru tu. Nah dua lemaru ti le tiad dua limu, nah jauh keria dua limu rugag, tu ane mu meri le muatu diuru keria, tu arga tu arga guraro iria dua semai pada aku tu media kala aku tu. Itu tu kau kau DCI, umar aku tu dikiri dia. Toro toko kete kome nya matuwa lide Honra bupita mwadi ko Toro kora atu eka Mamu nyitire, mamu ikia subaru Na tutire tura amuwa na tutire tura amu nya koliyari Kutumia wake haha Shianashi yake shi haha Malori ya papa eko Na director wa investigation Ato kora haha Ale na goto uriri ya siuria ja Onadaya nakara mwakea deke Na nigoto kiri ike Nori ria ona tutike muira maudu mwa mautueja Noku mau manadi, nato ikatu. Nah itu orang uga, tu tiga tiga dia, tu aku sok aku kureke, nato aku di na berena kuaria, nato tiga dia, adu itu, ama uti Kenya, na fruli boh dah adu, waruma. Diri kari eh hotel itu, na nira hari ni, na kau makiri ama kan mata tu besar. Na na kau isi orang usia weira, siri tu dia diuru ruka kahari ho, diri kah dia ni, ni kita madu kia macam ni, na nira ho ni diri kari, muda ni awal usia. Bapa kita buat itu dokia musaman yowei ebu. Mari kia hau, madu kia musaman yowei murang. 
marekia hau mathio ngi wena ikumi ni turamenya no ithe tuvite atiriri mugutuhura mwenda gutura muturage no muringana karungo kangi no gagoka nigetha turuire bururi bitu no tutigwitigira sisi tigeni sisi na tutaendelea kuongea we will never be caught what is the status of the deputy president alumia deputy president nie ni joy tugitigana nake ni aguradire na daishi onokiaria nake ni uraigua no ni to kumuhe report yo muthenya wa rushu tondu mahiga ni maikirio ngari ni yake nduma ni shikirio ngari ni yake andu acio matiuma na itheru na amwe tureciria ni police aria megwikirite nguo cia raia tondu ku kuma na nyeki tukuragio na mahiga marauma ni to ni nyeki itheri kire kiharo